on the face today. We're today, we're jumping into a new TV show. This TV show is called Wednesday. Ooh, I like that. So I'm very excited to be jumping into uh, this a new TV show. Um, the Adams Family is obviously... Um, I'm very excited. I'm just very excited. Um, I hear such good things about this. Um, VIA, my social media. Everybody is talking about this show. I knew I was going to do the show when I saw the trailers because the trailers was bringing me in alone. So I'm very excited to be doing this. I feel like I said that like 3,000 times. You guys are probably like, uh, shut up, get to the reaction. I am. But just letting you guys know, this is going to be a full reaction for my entire platform here on the YouTube platform as well as my other platform, Patreon. So guys, please sign up to one of those platforms and help support the channel. Um, just so you know, moving forward, because sometimes people join the channel to see full reactions. Um, but it's always the first and the ending of any show or season that I do that is available for my entire platform. Um, I do get back to the people that you know are supporting the channel on the first tier. So if you guys do join the first tier to see this full reaction, just know moving forward, I think there is eight episodes. So starting from the second episode, I will be for the second and third tier, just so that we're clear and everybody understands. Um, but now I'm gonna give you that intro that you're waiting for. With that being said, I want you to jump into Wednesday and find out exactly what Wednesday has got to give. I'm not sure whose twisted idea it was, but hundreds of adolescents in underfunded schools. But I admire the sadism. I want names. I don't know who they were. Honest. See, emotion equals weakness. <laughs> Pull yourself together. <laughs> I'm not about to confess to my brother that I've recently been plagued by vision. What are you gonna do? What I do best. The only person who gets to torture my brother is me. Please remind my parents that I'm no longer speaking to them. It's the perfect school for her. Why? Because it was the perfect school for you? I merely meant that finally you will be among peers who understand you. Nevermore is like no other boarding school. We're my true mother. And we fell in love. That boy's family was going to file attempted murder charges. Everyone would know I failed to get the job done. <laughs> the trail might look pretty. But it runs right past Nevermore. Counselor at summer camp was a werewolf. Great guy. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my god, look at her eyes! Ew! <sighs> at least it's turning into a beautiful day. Wednesday is certainly a unique name. I think it was the day of the week you were born. I was born on Friday the 13th. Her name comes from a line from <laughs> Always had a unique perspective on the world, Morticia. Hmm. Eight schools in five years. They haven't built one strong enough to hold me. I bet this place won't be any different. Evermore doesn't usually accept students midterm. But given Wednesday's perfect grade, I've spoken with the board and we've made an exception. The school has a relationship with a therapist in Jericho. She can meet twice a week. If she survives the first session. Oh. Ophelia is the one who kills herself after being driven mad by her family. Correct? <laughs> Howdy, Rumi! Wednesday, this is Enid Sinclair. Wednesday always looks half dead. <laughs> Welcome to Ophelia Hall. Allergic to color. Oh, wow. Break out into hives and then the flesh peels off my bones take Wednesday to the registrar's office to pick it up along with a copy of her schedule and give her a tour along the way. Elmore was founded in 1791 to educate people like us. Outcasts, freaks, monsters. This was my parents' idea. Oh look, there's my mother smirking at me. Kill the kid at your old school and your parents pull strings to get you off. 
Actually, it was two kids, but who's counting? The whole snarky goth girl thing might have worked at Normie school, but here things are different. Four main cliques are fangs, furs, stoners, and scales. The fangs, aka vampires. A bunch of knuckleheads are furs, aka werewolves, like me. Bianca Barclay is the closest thing Nevermore has to royalty. She used to date a resident tortured artist, Xavier Thorpe, but they broke up at the beginning of the semester. Not gonna believe the dirt I heard about your new roommate. She eats human flesh. Quite the contrary. I actually flay the bodies of my victims, then feed them to my menagerie of pets. You're in black and white, like a living Instagram filter. Ignore him. Gorgon spent way too much time getting stoned. Social media to be a soul-sucking void of meaningless affirmation. Look at you, my little death trap. Why don't you boys wait in the car? Wednesday and I need a moment. Soft and weak. You'll never survive without me. I give you two months, tops. I'm gonna miss you too, sis. I've alerted all family members to contact me the minute you darken their doorstep. As usual, you underestimate me, mother. You're a brilliant girl, Wednesday. But sometimes you get it in your own way. I'm sure you'll grow to love Nevermore. Initials. It's made of obsidian, which Aztec priests used to conjure vision. One of your spirits suggested this toe-curling tchotchke. I am not mm. you, mother. Old girls your age say hurtful things. I shouldn't take it to heart. Fortunately, you don't have one. Finally, a kind word for your mother. <laughs> yeah, we can't talk to you for the first week while you're settling in, so we'll call you next Sunday. Don't worry, my love. My little scorpion won't be alone. Poor so and Armo over there. We found a leg by the lake. It matches the profile of the other two attacks last week. Wow. Don't approve any more campfire permits for the foreseeable future. Don't want bear it back. You don't really believe that, Sheriff? No, I don't. These murders are connected to Nevermore. I just can't prove it yet. So until I can, that damn bear. Dividing our room equally. Looks like a rainbow vomited on your side. I Silence would be appreciated. I devote an hour a day to my novel. Perhaps if you did the same, your blog might be coherent. Followers are clearly imbeciles. <laughs> they respond to your stories with insipid little pictures. When I look at you, the following emojis come to mind. Rope, shovel, hole. Turn that off. This kitty's got claws and I'm not afraid to use them. Wanted to make sure that Wednesday was settling in. I miss Thornhill, your dorm mom. She's been smothering me with hospitality. I hope to return the favor in her sleep. I try to match the right flower to each of my girls. A black dahlia. Oh, you know it. Of course. It's named after my favorite unsolved murder. Lights off at 10, no loud music, and no boys, ever. The locals are a tad bit wary about Nevermore. That means keep your claws to yourself and no smothering people in their sleep. Get out of her way. Here's a hand. Coach, coach, she tripped me. It was a clean strike, Rowan. Anyone else want to challenge me? I do. You must be the self-appointed queen bee. Interesting thing about bees. Pull out their stingers and they drop dead. He's not helpless. He's lazy. Are we doing this or not? Point to Wednesday. The score is even. That first point was clearly beginner's luck. I'd like to invoke a military challenge. No masks. No tips. Winner draws first blood. Let's see if you bleed in black and white. <laughs> oh, you lost Wednesday? You're Wednesday, right? I never thought it was possible to be an outcast in a school full of outcasts, but it looks like you're gonna give me a run for my money. No good deed goes unpunished. <laughs> Welcome back. The last thing I remember, I was walking outside, feeling a mixture of rage, pity, and self-disgust. I looked up and I saw that gargoyle coming down at me, and I thought, well, at least I'll have an imaginative death. Hmm. So you were guided by latent chivalry, a tool of the patriarchy to extract my undying gratitude? Should have just let that thing smash you to mush? I would have rather saved myself. You probably don't remember me. I, last time we met, I was about two feet shorter. 40 pounds heavier. Apparently she was friends with your grandmother and they spent their 20s together in Europe swindling the rich and notorious. I had the inspired idea to hide in her casket. Either way, you hit the big oh. red stop button and saved me from being flame broiled, so now we're even. I knew it. Hello, thing. Surrender. 
They thought I wouldn't find out just proves how much they underestimate me. My parents aren't worried about me. They're evil puppeteers who want to pull my strings even from afar. Lock you in here for the rest of the semester. You pledge your undying loyalty to me. Our first order of business is to escape this teenage purgatory. Dr. Kimbert's office is on the second floor. Other Nevermore students swear by her. Principal Weems, this feeble attempt at bonding is beneath you. Given your history, I'm sure you're intent on running away. I'm here to prevent that from happening. I read the notes from your school counselor. Mrs. Bronstein, one who crochets for a hobby is a worthy adversary. I hope we can forge a relationship based on trust and mutual respect. I think that this is a waste of time. I see the world as a place that must be endured. Someone bullies your brother, your response is to dump piranha in the pool. Never bring a knife to a sword fight. You lost a testicle. I did the world a favor. People like Dalton shouldn't be allowed to procreate. Therapy is a valuable tool to help you understand yourself. Also help you build a life that you want. I know the life that I want. I understand you've written three novels about a teen girl detective, Viper de la Muerte. I once described my writing as gratuitously morbid and suggested I seek psychiatric help. I sent her a thank you. <laughs> The relationship I found most intriguing was that of Viper and her mother, Dominica. Wednesday, part of this journey requires us going to uncomfortable places emotionally. I don't travel well. Okay? Is everything okay? Preparing myself for our uncomfortable journey. <laughs> You got that weirdo. Ooh, trip. Do you make a habit of scaring the hell out of people? Your special machine's having a seizure, so all we have is drip. Temperamental beast with a mind of its own, and it doesn't help that the instructions are Italian. Read Italian? Of course. It's a native tongue of Machiavelli. You have one of these monsters at home? Steam-powered guillotine. I built it when I was 10. Never met a Nevermore kid who got their hands dirty. I'll tell you what, Wednesday, to show my appreciation, how about I drive you to Burlington myself? 20 whole dollars. Tempting. <laughs> but no, I can't be bought. So either wait or find someone else to drive you. What happened? This is our booth. Why are you three just like religious fanatics? It's a special kind of stupid to devote an entire theme park to zealots responsible for mass genocide. Who are you calling stupid? If the buckled shoe fits. You've been with an army? I've never found one that could handle me. Hey. Where did you learn those kung fu moves? My uncle taught me. They were harassing a customer and she put them in their place. A Polish sheriff. This one slipped away from me. Don't tell me Gomez Adams is your father. That man belongs behind bars for murder. I'm guessing the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Stop making enemies and start making a few friends. You're gonna need them. I hope the driver's okay. He's dead. Damn! better. There's just something wrong about this place. <laughs> Where's the rest of him? It's one of the great Adams family mysteries. Why aren't you wolfing out? Because I can't. Into the best lichenologist. I had to fly to Milwaukee, would you believe it? What happens then? I become a lone wolf. I kicked out of my family pack with no prospect of finding a mate. I'm failing to see the problem here. I could die alone. <laughs> Why are you crying? Because I'm upset. <laughs> Haven't you ever cried? Are you above that too? It was the week after Halloween. My pet Scorpion Nero out for his afternoon stroll and we were ambushed. Two of them held me down and made me watch. <laughs> While the others ran Nero over, cried my little black heart out. But tears don't fix anything. So I vowed to never do it again. Your secret's safe with me. It wasn't a secret. How would you like your single room back? You just need to show me how to use your computer. Holy shit! I'm taking orders from a hand. 
That's thing. Is he like your pet? What happened to not wanting to be a slave to technology? Desperate times. Are you still willing to help me escape? There's the Harvest Festival this weekend. Attendance is mandatory. I'm in. And no charge. Consider it a freebie. Aww. Are you sure you can trust that normie? Yeah, no, I didn't know. Luck and safe travels. Still not a hugger. Got it. You should know I'm waiting for someone. Oh yeah, who's the lucky guy? Or girl? What does it matter to you? Dad hit me with the curfew. We need to go if I'm gonna make it back in time. I've got some dead weight I need to lose first. It's a pathetic validation more than I do. Would you mind distracting her? <laughs> I'm not used to people engaging with me. Now my train leaves in an hour. We're burning moonlight. You're the one who's in danger. What are you doing? Saving everyone from you. So is the quiet ones. You want to kill me because of some picture. My mother drew that picture 25 years ago when she was a student at Nevermore. My mother said it was my destiny to stop this girl if she ever came to Nevermore because she will destroy the school and everyone in it. Dead. Hello, my little black cloud. I narrowly avoided death twice. Discovered that my father may be a murderer. Learned that I could potentially destroy the school. As much as it pains me to admit, you were right, Mother. I think I'm going to love it here. <laughs> yeah. Well, well. Ooh, I like that. Um, that is my type of show. Ooh. We, I would give that a 9.5. I was very interested. The only reason why I was like moving around and do the whole bunch of stuff, I was getting like this chest pains, honey, and I had to try to figure it out while I was doing this reaction because I wanted to give you guys this reaction, although I was going through it watching the show. But I'm better now. <laughs> Of course, now that it's over. Um, anyways, so let's talk, let's talk. So I'm very curious to know, I used to watch, not really, kind of the Adam's Family one was the black and white, the older one. I never saw the movies. I know like when I was watching the trailer, a lot of people told me that I should watch the Adam Family movies. I didn't even know they had one, but mm, there we go. But um, I remember that the TV show, like I know I've seen a couple of it, but I, I don't, and I know all the Adam's Family characters, but I don't know what their powers are, if they have powers, or I just kind of thought they were like a depressed family that kind of looked like, like they were kind of like freaks kind of thing, um, with the hands and the uncle, um, and I remember that mop looking thing, I thought that was called thing, not the hands, but whatever, but regardless, um, in here, it's like she has visions, and I'm very curious to know is that how she was in the TV show slash movies, and what does the mother, like, what's the rest of them? Like, what, I want to know what all of their powers are, if they have powers, which I'm assuming they do in the show. And now it's really interesting, because we're, we're adapting all these vampires, gargoyles, werewolves, etc. And now we, obviously that guy was kind of like a warlock, or a slash seer. Would, would, would Wednesday be a seer? Because seers see things um so would that be what wednesday is and that guy kind of had powers like kind of like more like a witch slash warlock but he's dead so i guess we're not gonna talk about him anymore regardless i would give this a 9.5 wendy wednesday as a character it's just an over like she's hysterical this show is kind of dark but it's still really fun to watch and it has such good humor in it with great casting very good casting i knew a lot of them um and then the other side the side characters the supporting characters they're also very interesting we have a lot of new characters in this show obviously because it's a new show um and i just am very curious to learn about each single one of them and these groups what is a scale that lady who fought Wednesday was very very almost did it very very interesting um <laughs> she is but what's a scale like she's like a fish um and I guess she's the queen or whatever uh, like I said I'm very inter interested in this show and I really can't wait until we get into episode two
With that being said, if you've seen this reaction, realize you are not subscribed. Hit subscribe button, so please like and share this content because it is wonders for this channel. And I'll see you all next time on Andres El Rey.